I'll, I'll briefly introduce, um, actually I did not introduce myself properly, so I'll start with that. Um, so I'm actually born and raised in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I hold a uh, bachelor's in economics and politics and a master's in economics from Oxford. Uh, my team, I have a lot of other team members here, but kiddos right here is are working on the curriculum and on the sort of tutor hiring. Uh, Fasika is a current PhD student at Addis Ababa University, but also lecturing here at Kotebe. Um, other team members that we have is my, most importantly, my CTO, Rohan Mitta. He holds a Master's in Pure Mathematics from Cambridge and a second Master in Computer Science in Oxford. Um, we also have uh, brilliant team members in Kenya, our Kenya lead, Moses Kakura, um, and uh, a, you know, a, few, a few more. Um, I wanted to also highlight a very important aspect, and that is our desire to build something that is not just for the students at the Science Shared Campus, but that is also more accessible broadly for, for outside of maybe Addis or other parts of, of the country where you don't have as many resources. Because I was very impressed when I went to the school now. The facilities there are excellent. There are, it was um, um, much much better than even some of the high schools in Sweden, I would say. Even the top, the number six best high school in Kenya, which we, I was visiting there before I came here, uh, there is uh, n not even a comparison in terms of the equipment and facilities you have. But this is not something all high schools across your country can afford. And that is why we're hoping to figure out something that can work on a broader scale, because technology, software, will be an integral part of the future. And uh, although right now we are focusing on a very small, very uh, talented group, our hope is to have a broader scope, which is why this is uh, an ambition that is not just about this particular high school, but it has, we have a broader vision to, to enable more uh, under-resourced students uh, from other, other high schools across the country to, uh, to achieve and, and get opportunities they haven't been granted. Um, but on a personal level, a lot of people ask me, why do I do this? Why did I choose, instead of going into the city of London and moving around money for people who have too much money to make them more money, why did I choose to do this instead? Because this is not, you know, I could earn a lot more money doing other things. And I'll, I'll tell you a bit about why. It is, when I was young, when I was 15, my, my mom, she's from China, she asked me if I wanted to go to China and, and, and explore my roots and see a bit of how, how things are. And I did. Uh, I went to a very normal high school, very different conditions in terms of resources, and I saw how tough life could be and how fortunate I have been growing up in Sweden. I'd won the sort of lottery of life. I didn't choose to be born in Sweden, I didn't choose my talents, I, I didn't deserve that in any meaningful way. But when I went there and I met these different kids, I realized that the least I could do is to put myself in a position so I can give back so I can give more people across the world the opportunity to realize their full potential, um, regardless of the draw in the lottery of life. And so this was always at the back of, of my mind as I, as I finished my degree and I sought out to decide on what I would do with my career or my life, even. Um, what we want to do is to provide a low cost, scalable and evidence-based program for under-resourced, high-potential students to learn software development and coding. Now, when it comes to our approach, it is based on three core pillars. One is the recognition that in the West right now, there is a shortage of IT professionals. Because of the shortage, there is a high demand for it. They're asking, they're paying a lot of money to, for talented software developers. But on the sort of supply side, in Africa, there is a lack of resources, both in terms of infrastructure, but also in terms of the top type of education that you need to compete on this global market. Because ultimately, these students that we're aiming, they could go into law, they could go into medicine, they could go into engineering, but the problem is, all of these are not, generally, they're not exporting industries. So our vision in Directed Development Foundation is to help our scholars uh, bring in 15 million dollars in higher lifetime earnings and that is money as exporting for uh, across both Ethiopia and Kenya by 2025. And this is the first step for, towards that. We are, have a very academic background, a very rigorous approach 
So we believe that it's important that we work closely with universities, so we build evidence and we build it from the foundations. And that's where, why we have reached out to Kotega University of Education as the first and foremost institution for educational innovation and development. Um, and this summarizes the broad approach of what we do. Uh, uh, Dr. Kutis has told me uh, before just uh, about and the objective of the MOU. Uh, so uh, we are very happy to work with you and uh, with her as well. Uh, truly speaking, uh, as you may understand and you may read or hear, Kotoba University of Education is uh, specialized, education is specialized university. Uh, yeah. uh, so we are the only in Ethiopia uh, at entire Ethiopia level. Uh, we are uh, aimed to produce competent and uh, fully uh, education kit uh, professionals. Uh, this project will work uh, on, on the science shared students and these science shared students they are very highly quality, talented students as our talent center school. Uh, as you may have uh, almost we, we, we graduated three batches. The third batch is this year, the first batch almost uh, 82 students were graduated grade 12 and out of this Almost 72 of them out of 82, only 10 mm. scored straight four, and, uh, and they are very highly talented. That what I'm, what, what I would like to show you. Uh, and this year, graduates as well, they are very confident to score. Uh, that is why the Intel Company of America and uh, different different companies are approaching us to work with us and to to. Call. Uh, get the benefit from this tal talent center school. Mm -hmm. uh, you, are, you, are, you are also one of them at me now. And, uh, we, we can work together. We are for our students, we are for our children. And uh, these children, uh, I hope, we, uh, might be more for the country as well as for the globe. So that really working with these children, uh, whether you know or you met them or not, I don't know. I met them today earlier, actually. Yeah. Right before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think or I believe you proud when when you listen to them, when you share your, their vision. Uh, they are not language content only; they content based knowledge they have. And the majority of them are uh, interested with uh, the software engineering area. So what, what you are saying and what they are, their ambition is almost a fit. That is very interesting uh, one thing. So we can work together and we can uh, bring difference uh, and bring change. But the issue is most, most of the colleagues, uh, countries, whatever, universities, they come and sign with us and all, and they disappear. Really? And sometimes we see that. And uh, uh, for that, for paper purpose, that is meaningless. We should have to work together. Uh, we have a scarcity of resource, especially financial resource. We are a developing country, you know. Uh, we are under uh, different pressure. Majors. So uh, what I'm expecting is the one who came with, like for example, ten dollar to support me is mm -hmm. my, my, my my family, my colleague. Every, his everything for me. Mm -hmm. I go miles and uh, when say welcome, <coughs> say him welcome, so that we can we can we can work together. We can bring a change. Uh, I'm very happy to work uh, with this college. Uh, college in a sense, uh, uh, I know at your country level what college mean be, I know, so we can work together, we have the potential here. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes.
just uh, that federal democratic. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, Antioquia is actually one at Oxford, I don't know if you know this, but there are a lot of academic researchers based in Oxford that study closely, uh, work with Ethiopia, very closely. Um, there's a long-running study called the Young Lives Study, it's been running for 15 years, and they've been following around, I think, 12,000 young uh, children. Yeah. One day, when, when the, I and uh, Fasika will uh, visit your uh, uh, school, Oxford College. Yes, you're very welcome. Yeah, we'll visit. I yeah. hope so. I hope so. Yes, yes. You <laughs> must come. You must come, and I'll I'll take you for a nice dinner. Unless they invite uh, us, how can we go? 